While working with participants in my program, I noticed there were certain sentences that I said, of which my participants said, can you please repeat that? I want to write it down. And so I thought, I guess these sentences are useful, and so I want to share them with you as well. So the first sentence. Can I interrupt you for a moment? There's something going on in me. So this sentence is super useful when someone is speaking and you notice that you get triggered, you cannot listen anymore and you want them to stop talking so whatever you're feeling can be addressed. I actually have a whole video about how to interrupt people in a kind of connecting way that you can find up here if you're interested. Do you have space to listen to me for like 10 minutes? So I use this whenever I would like someone to listen to me but I want to check if they actually have space instead of them maybe being super full or distracted by something else and then I wouldn't really get heard, right? So I want to check whether someone has space and I want to add a certain amount of time to it so they know what they're saying yes to. How would it be for you to... So you can finish how would it be for you with any request that you have and I like to start my request that way instead of saying uh, can you do this for me or do you want to do, do this for me? Because when you do that it seems like the other person can just say yes or no. And when you say, how would it be for you? You invite the person to check with themselves. Is there a yes? And if not, what might be stopping them? And that way you really get a dialogue and there's more of a chance to find something that works for both of you. Would you be willing to try out this strategy for X amount of time? This sentence I use whenever I have a request that I imagine might be a bit challenging for someone, a bit out of their comfort zone. And when I have that kind of request, I want to make it more safe for them by adding something that gives them a bit of a trial period. So do you want to try this out for an hour? Do you want to try this out for a month? Do you want to try this out for three times, for one time? And then we check again whether you like it. That's how you can use that sentence. Mm, can I think about it and let you know tomorrow? So the can I think about it sentence has been like crucial for me because this gives you some time to really check with yourself whether you want to say yes to something, whether you have what I call a full yes for something. And if you don't, you can also think about how you want to share that with the other person. I would really love to find a way to get both our needs met. Whenever I sense that I'm starting to move towards a bit of a conflictuous situation, I like to set the intention for myself and also to ask if the other person has the same intention to try to get both our needs met instead of trying to be right. So I like to set this intention whenever I think I'm in a you know, bit of a like fragile territory, a bit of a delicate situation or I can tell that maybe someone might get triggered or I'm a bit triggered, then I just want to set this intention. So that's where we want to go from here. I would prefer to do X because I have a need for Z. So sentence number seven, I use whenever I don't have a yes for something. I kind of, you know, in my old days before MVC, I would have said no. And instead, I would li I like to say now, I would prefer to do this and this. Just I propose uh, an alternative because I have a need for blah, 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 because I have a need for rest, because I have a need for variety, because I have a need for connection. And that way it's more clear to someone why I want a certain thing and what is the need that is behind it. So really to make a, find a way to connect with them about it. If you want to prepare a full conversation with someone and it's a conversation that you think might be a bit tricky, I have a tough talk preparation sheet that will tell you exactly step by step what to do and you can download it for free if you click up here. 